I'm Brian Cannon. This is Microdot. Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about Creation Records street fly posters for Oasis and how to tell them from reproductions. Um, so what do I mean by an original? When I say original, I mean printed in the 90s. Original to the time of the release of the record, not printed last week. So why do I make such a point of there being Creation Records street fly posters? What does all that bit mean? Well, obviously Creation Records were Oasis's record label. So if they were put out by Creation Records, that means they are official. They were used to officially promote the record. And by street fly poster, what I mean is, these were never meant to be sold as merchandise. These were meant to be stuck up in the street, fly posted in the street, illegally, I may add, to promote the record at the time. You've got to bear in mind this was pre-internet. The way that record companies would advertise the release of records for Oasis would be to literally pay teams to stick these posters up in the streets. People of a certain age, around my age and perhaps a bit younger, will remember back in the day that every town and city in England at the time of an Oasis record coming out will be plastered with these posters. Fly posting was illegal. Uh, quite a dodgy process actually. A lot of gangsterism involved, you know, people would actually get... I mean, I've heard stories of people getting hurt putting them up because they were putting them up for the wrong guy in the wrong place, like a turf war over street, over fly posters, basically. That is why you will never see any mention of Creation Records on these posters, because they wanted to distance themselves as much as possible from this illegal activity. Now, that sounds stupid when you bear in mind it's advertising the Oasis record, but I suppose they thought that they could legally argue in a court of law that had nothing to do with them. Some fans might have put them up or something, quite remarkably. Um, so there's never any mention of Creation Records on them. So what I'll be doing today is running through a few giveaways that show you that they're definitely not Creation Records originals. I mean, I obviously haven't seen every single poster or every one that's out there, variants thereof, but this will give you a rough guide of how, what, what you should be looking for. So for a start off, a Creation Records one will never have a white border on it. This one, for example, I think, I mean, it's interesting, but it's totally unofficial. This is a bootleg that would have been sold outside of a gig, right? Which doesn't make it any less interesting, I think, but, you know, it's nothing like as collectible, obviously. And you can tell that because what, what they've done here is they've just taken um, the press ad out of the paper, scanned it, and stuck it on a picture of the band. And this probably would have been sold outside the gigs that are on that uh, advertisement there. This could well be an official merchandise poster. I have seen official merchandise posters that were sold at gigs and this doesn't actually have in the corner um, a web address or the merchandise company name. You'll often find that they do. But the giveaway that that's not creation is there's a white border on it. And another thing as well I think you'll notice on this one, the logo width doesn't match up to the picture width. Now that's something that we would never have let go. That, that would never have got out like that. This has been put together, I think, in this particular case, by a merchandise company. Could, oh, indeed, could be a bootleg either way, but we would never have made a mistake like that. So that's that one. Now, here's an interesting one. This is clearly a bootleg because what you're seeing here, uh, and I'll show a close-up of this. I mean, it's damaged. The fact it's damaged is irrelevant because, you know, official ones can be damaged. But if you look closely on this, you'll see what's called a screen clash. And that leads me on to, the way these were printed was, they were lithographically printed. Now, I mean, I could devote an entire episode to what lithographic printing means, but what I, in a nutshell, it means they're printed using plates and it's made up of tiny little dots, four, four colored dots, cyan, magenta, black and yellow, which is blue, black, yellow and red, effectively. Uh, and if you get your eyepiece, and you look super closely at this, you'll see that it's made up of loads of tiny little dots. And that bit there of the car headlight on the Rolls Royce, I will zoom into to show exactly what I mean by that. So the dots should always be sharp, not blurred, and well-defined. Because if you take a picture that's already been printed with dots on it, and then you try to lithographically print it again, you'll have two sets of dots, which causes what's called a screen clash. It's like a moire, a moire in effect, if I use that word rightly. Anyway, I'll show you exactly what I mean on that. I mean, that's a blatant giveaway. That's not a real one. You often see these days what's called first generation reprints. At least they're being honest, at least they're not trying to pass it off as an original. And what they are is basically digital prints from the original that have scanned the original and printed it digitally, which is basically a big inkjet. And I'll show an example of how inkjet prints look close up as opposed to that. And that'll be, it's like dashes, more like little splurges if you like, nothing like, a, not the uniform pattern that you see on here. 
there's one other thing I want to talk about, and that's Creation Records original promotional photographs. Um, pretty much like this one here. This one was from, I think, they're at Glastonbury there, 1995. And that uh, was signed by Noel to my mum and dad. I don't know if you can make it out. I'll, do, I'll drop in a close-up. Uh, they both passed away now, so I kind of inherited that from them back. But the reason why I'm including this is because these are collectible as well, and you'll often find reprints of these. And what people have done is digitally printed these. So if you get, you know, if you look close up, you will see dashes and you know splurgy dots on them. Whereas in actual fact, these didn't have any dot or any dashes on them at all because they were sent pre-internet days to magazines and um, newspapers and what have you, and then they will put a dot on it to be printed. So you had to send an image without a dot so it wouldn't create a screen clash, if you see what I know this is a bit technical, and, and I know it means to really check, you need to get a, a super close eyepiece on it. But if you look close at that, it's what's, con what's called continuous tone. It's a photograph, photographically printed as opposed to lithographically printed. Uh, shouldn't have any dots on them whatsoever. All the Creation Records street fly posters from the 90s for Oasis were designed by me at Microdot. And we do have a selection of them on the website. I'll show you in the boutique here, uh, the full wall display. They're all obviously 90s originals. We do not sell reprints. We do not reprint these. So if you're ever in any doubt as well to get any that's definitely original, get them from us because they 100% are. Uh, I'll also drop in here the process through which we go of actually mounting and framing them. So um, they are mounted to a board uh, that prevents any wrinkling or creasing or, uh, you know, buckling over the years. They'll, they'll remain pristine. Um, and I'll show you a video now of Lee putting one of them together. Um, so I sign the, the mount on each one and yeah, there you go. Original Creation Records street fly posters from the 90s in mint condition framed on the Microdot website right now. I hope I've helped you to spot at least some giveaways of, of something that you know isn't original when people are purporting that it is because there's a lot of sharks out there selling stuff today that isn't what it's supposed to be because Oasis are so popular. As always, thanks for watching. Um, means the absolute world to us. See you in the next one. Cheerio.